Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to DIY Art Plus. So today I'm going to show you how I make this colorful birch tree painting. So let's start. So if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel to see step by step painting videos. And you can also paint with me if you like. And make sure you also give a thumbs up if you like this video. All right, so let's start what material you need for this project. So first, I'm going to be using canvas. This one is 10 by 10 inches and this canvas specifically is only for paint pouring painting but I'm not gonna be do the paint pouring anytime soon so uh, I'm gonna be using this for this painting. So I'm using this square canvas but you can use any size to be honest. Uh, maybe 8 by 10 or 60 by 20 if you want to paint it on bigger canvas and to be honest i really like the texture of this canvas better than the regular canvas maybe this is only for the like paint pouring so do you see how smooth it is it's there it's not that bumpier that uh, the canvas have those little bumps in it so i like it so for this painting i am planning to use these two brushes this one is flat and this is, uh, I wish I can see the number, <laughs> it's number 6 and this is number 0, it's a small round one. So I am only going to be using these two brushes, so I'm going to start working on my background and for that I'm going to use my bigger brush. So I'm going to be using like so many colors for this painting. Um, if you are also painting with me, you can also use any color you like. You don't have to like completely follow me, but if you like, you can follow me too. Alright, so these are the colors I'm planning to use. I may be add more later, I don't know. So, um, white, purple, yellow, green, red, and blue. This is lighter blue. I mean, you can see this darker blue, but this one is dry. So, I'm using just a light blue here. All right, so again, I'm using my big brush, and I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna dip my brush in my water first. Tap, tap, tap. All right, so for this painting, what I like to do is go everywhere and apply a little bit of water. So uh, I'm just gonna take a little water and just randomly apply this little water there. And it's okay if I miss some spots. It's okay if you are also painting with me if you miss some spots. This is we are doing this only so that um, it's easy to spread this paint and apply this paint. Okay, as you can see, I'm getting some bristles on my canvas, and that's okay. All right, so now let's start applying some color. So, like I said, you can uh, just use any color you like for this painting. All right, so I'm gonna start with the some purple here first okay so for that i'm gonna take a little bit of white like this and tiny bit of purple on the other side of my brush so just gonna dip it one time so do you see a little bit purple more white all i'm gonna do is create axis now to create that nice texture so for that i'm just gonna apply nice axis like that so if you apply a little bit of water, this will be much easier for you to apply this paint. And go a little faster because we're going to be blending a lot of colors here. So I want to make it a little bit more darker, so I'm taking a little bit purple here. So I recommend to take your paint litter by litter, otherwise uh, you're going to end up with the color you don't like on your canvas. And it's, it will be um, sometime if you apply too dark, it, it might be a little bit hard to make it lighter so that's why i always say this is uh, use your paint little by little and you can you can make it darker as you go all right so i'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side of the anywhere you like similar way i'm just gonna apply some blue here again nice big axis do you see how quickly going here um but you can take your time okay i'm gonna do you see i'm getting this kind of a fuzzy line so i like to take a little water on my brush okay and then you'll see a big difference it will be so much easier to spread this paint around 
Okay, I'm gonna do one more time, maybe on the other spots. So maybe down here, I guess. So I wanna show you one trick. So let's say after you apply this much of paint, and if you wanna smooth out this, all of these edges, so do you see the difference between this area and this area the edges right here it's more kind of a you know it's lighter to do that i'm just going to take a little water i'm not taking any more paint i'm just going to go on these edges like this and do you see now what i'm talking about this all of these edges is nice and lighter all right i'm going to do the same thing for this area just taking a little bit of water and making it lighter and I think I like that. That's so pretty. Okay. Now, if you are painting with me, uh, what I recommend, and if you are still working, just pause the video and just start again whenever you are done. Here I'm all done applying this purple. Now I'm going to work on applying a different color, which is blue maybe. So um, let's say you apply a little bit of purple and... Um, you are not sure if you want to apply more or not start with a different color right now and then uh, at the end you can go back and add any other color you like on the top so that's the best part about using acrylic paint so if you don't like any spots on your painting let it dry let it completely dry and apply whichever color you like on top all right so here i'm all done with this purple now i'm gonna do the same thing with blue now i don't have any of these like purple or white left so i don't have to clean my brush if you feel like you have too much of uh, purple in your brush you can clean your brush all right i'm gonna take a little white and a little bit of blue just like i did with the purple okay and then i'm gonna start applying this color maybe right here do you see how light it is i always like to start with the lighter color and then i can take a little paint to make it darker Okay, make it nice big axis here. Applying a little bit of blue there. I have some space. Do you see all the white space? I'm just gonna fill everything with that blue here. And then I'm gonna take some water, just dip it in water one time, and then go on these edges. The blending all these two colors will be much easier if you use some uh, water and just a little bit of white if you feel like it's not blending. But mine looks like it's nicely blending. So I'm just going to leave it alone. And then I'm going to move on to other spot. I have some space here do you see how I'm just randomly applying to be honest this is gonna be different for everyone and I'm using a square canvas here um, if you are using a 8 by 10 size of canvas it might be a little different for you okay so I feel like I applied too much of blue so I'm gonna grab it from here and apply it right here okay and to make this area lighter make sure you don't have uh, any paint left and then go around these edges of that color I hope you can see how bright these colors are on my canvas on like you know it doesn't look that bright I don't think so in this video but uh, in real these colors are so bright in here all right I'm also gonna apply a little bit of blue maybe right here because I don't know maybe it's too light And as you can see, I'm keeping all of these brush strokes because I really like that movement on my um, background. You can say it's sky, so I really like that. So I don't want to blend it a lot here. Okay, 
Okay, and then I'm just gonna take a layer of water on these edges. This part is gonna take a little time. If you are working with the bigger brush, it might be quicker for you, but I really like to um, add different colors here and blend it very nicely. So that's why I'm using my small brush. Okay, we're gonna be using one more color. So you don't really have to keep any space empty here for that next color. We just gonna fill everything, all the white space we have. Let me know uh, if you are also painting with me, if you like to paint a uh, different kind of painting. I love to get more idea, I always say this. <laughs> So uh, if you have any other thing in your mind you want me to try, you you want to try painting it, let me know. I can create a video. So um, yeah. So if you are painting on the wrap canvas, um, you can also apply this same color on these edges. I really like to keep it white so I'm not going to apply anything here. So whatever I make on my uh, YouTube video here, I sell everything on my Etsy shop. And I also create, uh, I mean not create, uh, like make a new website. So you can check out my new website and uh, you can find most of the stuff there. I still need to add some more, but you know, it's so hard to figure out how this, all the things work in this website. So I'm still learning that part. All right, so almost done. So what I really want to do right here is add a little bit of purple because um, I don't want to use the same blue. So I'm just going to apply some purple here. So if you feel like this color is so dark and you have too much of color left on your brush, you can clean your brush. Okay, and then you can use maybe a paper towel just so that you don't have too much of water. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take a little white and I'm gonna go on these edges first. Okay, little white on these edges. And then I'm gonna go on top of those colors. I'm gonna clean one more time. I'm gonna repeat one more time. Clean. And then bite. And then applying from edges of that color. And then I'm gonna go on top. All right, so ready for the next color? What I'm going to do for the next color is use kind of a little teal color. So for that, let's make that color. I don't have that on my plate, so I'm going to create that. So, uh, I mean, make that. So, yeah, I'm going to take a little white paint. You can just put it wherever you have space on your plate. I don't have any space here. And then a uh, little blue. A little bit of green. All right, and mix it all together. I think I need more green here. Okay, a little bit more green. I almost want to do it like a little mint shade. And then some white. You can just see how dark, how light, or you know, what shade re you really want to make it. I don't want to make it too bluish. 
I want to make it slightly a little bit kind of a little, little bit of mint shade. A little purple, I guess. Alright, I think this is a good color. And uh, I'm just going to randomly apply this color like that. First. And now I don't want to apply too much. And do you see how I'm applying this? Like applying this kind of little wonky kind of a dots you can say dashes all right and then i don't have a lot of color left so i'm just gonna still clean my brush okay remove your and dry it a little bit and then I'm gonna take a little bit of white and then I'm gonna go over that color to make it slightly lighter and a little textury I don't have any other word but you know what I really mean by looking at this I hope For this part, you just have to work it, uh, work a little bit quicker because um, I already applied those paint and sometimes this paint dries so quickly, so you have to work it, you know, a little bit quicker. So sometimes when I paint, and if you are also painting, what I recommend you to is watch me first and then uh, just pause the video and then do that part. So you're gonna get more idea what I'm actually going for, like what I'm actually doing. On my painting here just so that your painting don't get uh, like you know dry and you messed up or something like that and first of all there is nothing uh, like you cannot mess this painting because like I said you can use any color however you like to on your canvas or you can also paint it on maybe maybe a watercolor paper that's a good idea I think I'm just gonna stop maybe here and I'm gonna let this whole thing dry because I'm gonna apply different color down here and I'm all gonna I'm also gonna add some uh, like nice tree here so so it looks like this area is nicely dry so do you see there is no shininess anything if you see this area is nice and like it's shiny that means it's still wet so i'm not gonna do anything anyways there so i'm gonna move on to my next part and i'm gonna apply different color here different color i'm gonna use our black paint so i didn't show you black right here but i'm gonna use some black let me grab that I paint a lot so that's why I have this color in a bigger container okay just a little black not too much all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply some black and a uh, little bit of white so I'm gonna start with some black just a little bit like this and then again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna apply those nice small axes. And for this, I'm gonna start from bottom. So, I'm just gonna start making this little line there by making axes. Let me do the edges first because I really want to sell this painting and I really want the edges of my painting pretty nice. Okay, go back to your axis. You see how tiny line it is? Thank you. 
all right now i'm gonna apply a little bit of white now so um let's do that if you feel like you have too much black if you want to clean your brush you can but i'm not gonna clean here i'm just gonna take some white and what i like to do to be honest is add a little bit of white dots before i start applying this color like that okay and then i'm just gonna this add this kind of a axis again so if you add those dots it's gonna you're gonna have that this color like like same color i'm so sorry i don't even know how to even say that but okay so i did this part a little bit quicker here and then i'm gonna clean my brush I'm gonna repeat one more time doing the same thing a little bit white and then I'm just gonna blend these colors Alright, and then I'm just gonna go everywhere and just kind of a blend like this. And we're gonna add different colors on top, so don't worry about making it like too perfect here, okay? So this is just a background color, and then I'm just gonna leave it alone. And then I'm gonna clean my brush. Alright, so it's a fun time now is to add a nice birch tree here okay so uh, for that i'm gonna be using white paint so if you don't have any more white paint grab some i just have a little left here all right so you can if you like to see me first for this part so that you get more idea of how i'm placing my trees here so um you're gonna get more idea okay so i'm gonna start adding this white birch tree from here so let's i'm gonna add one line starting from top coming all the way down this is just a just a placing where i'm planning to like place <laughs> placing uh yeah okay sorry guys uh, so what i really mean is i'm not gonna go over this line four more times here to make it white all i'm doing right now is to think about where i'm gonna place my this these trees and then i'm just gonna add make this tree more darker all right so okay i'm gonna add one there one here as you can see we don't need to make it make it too straight so i make it a little wonky here okay i'm also gonna add a tree that are kind of a you know crossing like that i'm just gonna make it make this tree a little bit more wider more thicker like that and do you see how i'm grabbing some black and that's okay don't worry about don't think a lot about that Okay, I'm gonna add one there. This is also gonna be a nice and thick one. Okay, and one last maybe right there. Alright, I hope you can see that. Alright, now I'm gonna go over this line one more time to make it more uh, more uh, white i guess but not too white it's okay if you have some black because we're gonna add some black anyways all right so let's go over this line and if you want to get some sharp line just take a little water not too much just dip it one time in a water and then over your line this is part is gonna take a little time for you to finish but 
don't think a lot just go over your line and you will be fine All right, so here I'm all done. Now, if you think like uh, why I did this so fast because I fast forward this part because uh, this is gonna take a little time. So you can take your time, and then uh, whenever you are done, just start the video. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to my next part, which is adding some details on this tree. So for that, I'm gonna use my small brush. Okay, so you can clean this brush or just put it on side. I'm just gonna clean it. I like to clean it. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my small small brush and I'm just gonna dip it in my water before before I take any paint here. And then I'm just gonna take some paint and then I'm just gonna basically do the outline. But let me show you what kind of outline I'm talking about. So you don't need any sharp line here, like from top to bottom. You don't really have to do that. What I really mean is um, you can just create this kind of an outline. Do you see how I'm breaking it in the middle? So something like that. You don't need a sharp, sharp line here. It's okay if you don't apply this black everywhere. You might have to take some paint every like couple lines maybe you add. If you are using this... Um, thin paint that I'm using so my paint are more liquidy so and if you like to turn your canvas like this you can because for me it's easier to do it that way so I'm just gonna turn my canvas all right so this is what I was uh, talking about you don't need like a straight line here if your tree is a little wonkier make a little wonky line okay, i'm barely barely like touching my canvas here So this small tree is behind my bigger tree. Alright, you're all looking so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna turn my canvas this way. I'm sorry about the noise in the background here it's my heater so it's it's so cold down here in my basement so I need that and I make my videos on my my phone so I don't have any camera that I can use or I don't even know how to use any camera so I'm using my phone 
It's just so easy to use a wand. But I'm planning to get a camera. I don't know if you guys, anyone here have more, uh, more um, information, like which camera to use um, for the better quality videos. I know my, the quality of my videos aren't, aren't like that great, but um, I think it's only because I'm, I make my videos on my iPhone here, so. If you know any uh, camera that I can uh, try using, I want to like know because I try to search online and uh, I don't get any uh, right answer like which one to use to be honest, like which one are better ones. So, Alright, so here I'm all done adding this nice outline Now I'm going to add some more details, okay? So, you know how the boys three are, uh, I'm just going to... Yeah, like we are not making any like realism, like realistic painting here. So um, we don't have to make it look so real here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, take a little black and then um, I'm just gonna add like this kind of little lines. I don't wanna paint my sleeves. <laughs> okay, the best thing is my paint are drying so quickly today. I'm not really sure why is it because like to um, like is it because the heater is on? I guess I don't know. All right, so. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this kind of line starting from um, from left to right for now <laughs> okay so I'm gonna start adding this kind of lines so I'm just gonna leave a little space between it's okay if you go a little bit outside of your black line that's okay okay just maybe one or two if, like that And I'm also gonna add some on the other side, just some maybe. You can have more than a couple there, just to. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing for all of my trees. Alright, so here I'm all done with my black. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing one more time with some gray color, okay? So, for that, um, I'm going to create a gray. I don't have any on my plate, so I'm going to take a little white and a little bit of black. Just super light gray, not too dark. So maybe this color here, I hope you can see that. And this time, I'm not going to go on the both side. I'm only going to go on my... Um, my left side i'm sorry about the left and right i 
yeah, so confused <laughs> still. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing again on my on my um, left side because uh, it's almost like a shadow. So and as you can see, I'm not going everywhere, just some spots. I'm also using a little bit of water because my paint is almost drying. Alright, so here I'm all done adding my gray. Now I'm gonna add some branches here and um, for that I'm gonna be using my black paint. Okay, so I don't need to clean my brush because I'm using gray and uh, I don't need it. Okay, so I'm just gonna add like very random branches. Um, maybe I have some space here so I'm gonna add some uh, one there, just one there. So let me start from here. And then I'm gonna go up very slow and slowly I'm just gonna releasing the release the presser and I'm gonna go back make this knot area right here a little bit more uh, thicker okay, I like to use a little bit of water and then I'm just gonna stop maybe right there okay I'm gonna do the same thing for maybe like you know like maybe four or five times so I'm gonna add one here so what I'm doing is um, let's say this is the tree okay and uh, what I'm doing is I'm uh, starting from here and pressing a little bit harder like not too hard but just a little and as I'm going up I'm just slow it's so, so hard to do it on a paper because without any support so I'm just gonna okay let me try one more time so if you like to practice a little bit maybe on a paper piece of paper you can also do that so uh, maybe start from here And go up like that and as you go up just release the pressure okay so it's something like that so practice some time maybe on your paper before you do it on your canvas all right um, I also have some branches that are going like maybe you know this way like that I have some space down here so there I made it too long but I really like it okay I have space here so I'm just gonna add like maybe you know one there I'm just randomly gonna also add some up here all right I think I like that 
Okay, so now I'm gonna start adding some uh, fun part. Okay, so I'm gonna just clean my brush or you can just leave it in water. And now I'm gonna grab my big brush. Okay, so for this, um, I'm gonna add some uh, leaves. I mean, uh, flowers, I don't, I don't know, whatever you like to call it. I'm gonna start with the purple color first. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is add um, almost like a stamp it using my brush. So here I'm just gonna take some purple and all I'm gonna do is add like this kind of layer line like that okay and very randomly i'm just gonna add so i really want to add more yellow here so i'm only gonna add like some purple so i'm just gonna overlap all of the colors that i'm gonna be using from now so just don't think a lot and just follow what i am doing on my painting and it will turn out so nice trust me trust the process and I'm also gonna do the same thing down here and just some maybe here all right and then I'm just gonna use a purple uh, blue I'm sorry so I'm not cleaning my brush if you like to you can okay so something like that Okay, that's all I'm gonna do and I'm gonna clean my brush and I'm gonna do the same thing with some red okay so this red is super super bright and I'm also gonna overlap my uh, trees here So I add like a whole bunch of red here. I'm also gonna add like some red here. Some down here. You know, overlap some of the paint, some of the other colors that are here. Just, just play around, I guess. Kind of. You know what I mean hope so <laughs> all right so i think i'm this is all i'm gonna do with the red now i'm gonna add a different color which is slightly darker red so for that um almost like maroon shade so i'm gonna take a little red and then tiny bit of black just a teeny teeny tiny mix it all together so you i i know i'm gonna be using some more paint of so I'm gonna clean I'm just gonna make some more I mean so this is almost like a black I don't wanna use black okay I wanna use like a maroon maroon color okay again I'm just gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna kind of uh, overlap these colors on top of each other Also adding some on top because I don't want this painting to look a little weird and so as you can see I add some on edges all right I think I like that now I'm gonna clean my brush next color I'm gonna be using is orange so for the orange I don't have any on my plate so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take a little red and some yellow if you have orange you can just use that okay it's up to you how dark how light you want to use your orange I'm gonna make it slightly lighter 
like you know a little brighter I mean and um, if you are also making a color like I am on my plate and if you are not using a plain orange um, what I recommend is to take also a little bit of white here trust me if you do that your orange will be much brighter on your canvas and not more like a translucent if you can make you you can maybe try making a couple dots and you can see the difference a big difference so use a little white whenever you mix uh, orange okay so i'm just gonna again add this kind of uh, little lines uh, dashes on this area more because i'm gonna use some more yellow also here Okay, I'm also gonna add some orange here. Overlap all, overlap all of your lines on top of each other. You can also go back with the, the maybe red or purple again if you like on top. Some down here, so. I am almost out of white paint, I need more white paint and some more orange. Okay, let's make some more paint. Okay, some white. Lots of white. Same thing down here. All right, next color I'm gonna be using is yellow. So we have one more color after yellow. So let's start with the yellow first. So I'm just using this um, yellow I have. And I really wanna, really wanna focus more yellow on this area. So do you see how transparent it is? Like you don't really see this yellow yellow. So what I like to do is add a little bit of white in here and you'll see the difference. Just a little bit of, not too much. Okay, I think that's good. Now see this color and see this color. Do you see the difference? So, use a little white, I guess. Overlap your orange.
it's just very random dots I'm adding down here because I don't want to make that it you know, looks so uh, kind of empty so Just some yellow here. Okay, next color is lighter yellow. But before that, I'm just gonna also add some not yellow. Some yellow down here, I mean. Just some maybe, I guess. That's good. Now I'm gonna add some lighter yellow. So lighter than what I used. So for that, I'm gonna use some yellow and white. So last time I used white, this time I'm gonna be using a little bit more, a little bit more white. All right, so again, I'm gonna be using a little bit more white than last time. So take some paint. Mix it with your yellow. And I think this is the color I'm gonna be using. Like super lighter yellow. So let's see if it's uh, make any difference or not. You can make a little dot and see if it's uh, lighter or not. Mine is lighter, so I don't need to. I'm just still gonna add a little bit of white still. So you can see more difference. Okay, I think this much is better. And now, I'm just gonna, you know, add a whole bunch of lines. Hello? Just some right here, maybe. And some down here. All right, now I'm gonna clean my brush. I'm gonna be using a little bit of, a uh, little bit of uh, green also. I just want to use this okay now I can clean my brush and I'm gonna do the same thing with some green again not just a plain green a little bit of white in it so let's take a little green and a little bit of white Super cool, I love this color. I mean, I like different color, but whatever. Okay, just something like this. I'm just gonna randomly add this green like that. So I don't use a lot of green, but just you know, some. Maybe one or two dots on top. Max. I think that's good enough and then I'm gonna clean my brush again and next color I'm gonna be using is black okay so I clean my brush and I'm gonna take some black I'm only gonna be using black down here so uh, for now let's see so maybe something like this just uh, some dots smaller lines whatever you like to call it so in my painting this area is lighter so I'm not gonna add um, 
any black there but i'm gonna add some black just very random spots on this area here so maybe just maybe one or two down here all right i think that's good enough and I think I'm gonna go back with some purple because um, I don't see a lot of purple and I wanna add some purple. And this time, I'm gonna add some white in it. So, a little bit white and a little bit purple. So, a little bit more. A little bit more, I guess. So again, same thing, just a little, you know, purple. And also some purple, like very randomly on this area because I don't want this area to looks so kind of uh, you know empty so yep yeah, i think i'm all done sometime i just keep adding more and more and uh, i don't want to do that i think i'm all done here so let me know what do you think about this cool painting colorful painting uh, i hope you guys enjoyed painting with me if you have any other idea you want me to try, let me know in the comment and I will, I can try that. So I messed up a little bit here. I can just apply a little bit of white. But yeah, here I'm all done. So please let me know if you like this video or not in the comment. And also if you do, make sure you give a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel. And um, I'd love to see your painting, how it turned out. You can always share with me on my Instagram or maybe on my Facebook. I'm going to put the link down below of my social media accounts. Alright, thank you so much guys for all your help. And um, all your help to grow my little account and um thank you so much i will see you next time whenever we paint again together all right bye take care